Hey guys, it is Marianne at Thrive here today with a fab video with a little insight into a way that you can work smarter with your emails when you are using Microsoft Outlook. So if you're like me, there will be moments where you have hit send on an email and as soon as your finger comes off that button, there's a little light bulb that goes off and you think, oh, I forgot to add someone to that list or I put someone on that list who shouldn't be there or I forgot an attachment or there's something written in there that's wrong and it's gone. So Outlook has this fab little feature that allows you to add a delay between when you hit send and when it actually goes. So you've got a window of opportunity to jump in and make those last minute changes. So today we're going to have a look at how that works. So the interesting thing with this feature is that you set it up using the web version of Outlook. So it's not available as an option in my classic Outlook, which is what I use on my desktop. However, it is available on the web version. So I'm going to show you that, which means that there's no issue then whether you are working on the Mac desktop or the PC, it's all web browser based. So this is Outlook on the web that you'll see on the screen there. And we're going to go up in the top up here, we've got our settings, the little cog over on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on that. And then from here, we can jump into a whole load of different features, but we're going to look at the compose and reply section. And this is where it's the messages around some of the mail settings specifically for composing and replying to messages. And if we scroll down, there is an option here called undo send. So you can cancel that email after you've hit send. Now it will allow you to cancel things for up to 10 seconds and you can drag the slider here. You can have it at five or 10 seconds. So if we do five uh, and then I go save, and this is for my account, uh, my Team Thrive account. So if I was to now create a message, so I'm going to go back to the home view and we're going to go a new email and I'm going to do this one to myself. I'm going to call it testing delay send feature and we're going to hit send. So what will happen here? That's fine. We'll just go send. You can see it's sending, sending, sending. It's still sitting there as sending, but I have that option to undo it. And then it will be in my sent items. So it's had the 10 seconds, it's gone, and it will go to the other account. So the interesting thing here is that at any point there, I could have hit that button and undone it, which would open it up and I could make further edits. So that is how you can help avoid some of your email regret by using the undo send feature inside Outlook set up on the web. Now, if you're the kind of person who finds they are, I'm not going to say regularly, but do find that occasionally you forget to attach something or you need to jump in and do an apology email, give this a go. Set it for 10 seconds. Sometimes just seeing that little window at the bottom of your screen that says sending, sending, sending will trigger that, that reminder for you and give it a go. It's super handy. It's super easy. And it's another way that we can give ourselves that little buffer so that we know we're doing the best work possible and sending out things that make us look the best and are reliable for the people at the other end. So if this video has been useful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more great tips, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.